I thought I'd show you how to make a wonderful piece of Chinese charcuterie called lap yuk. Lap yuk is Chinese bacon uh, made from the pork belly. And the word lap yuk means wax meat. Wax meat, uh, it's not covered in wax or anything like that. The wax actually refers to a cold wintry air that happens during the 12th lunar cycle. Um, it's a, this is such a doddle of a recipe. It's a firm favorite in our house. Something that we've always got going on in the fridge because it's absolutely brilliant for a quick meal. If you're just cooking up a little bit of rice in the rice cooker, throw in a piece of lap yuk, it'll just cook with it, um, then diced up, absolutely wicked and wonderful. Um, it's also brilliant in stir fries and even in kind of uh, a Chinese version of spaghetti alla carbonara. So uh, with lap yuk, uh, what we're gonna be using is pork belly, good old pork belly. And the best piece of pork belly that you're really looking for, what they call five finger. Okay, this is where you're looking for five lines of alternating between fat and pork, fat and pork and fat. So this is a really simple recipe, only requires to be in your normal domestic fridge for about three to five days for the curing, and then you're going to be hanging it somewhere cool um, for another kind of five days or so. After that, it'll last in your fridge for weeks, to be honest. If you vacuum pack it as well, you can freeze it, uh, it lasts for ages, and it works really well for um, just whipping out and throwing in uh, with a couple of meals. So when it comes to the ingredients, there's three things that we need. Salt, sugar, and an alcohol. Now traditionally with the alcohol, you would use something called a Chinese rice wine. That's actually quite expensive and not particularly easy to get, but you can get the very similar results with fairly neutral uh, alcohols that are above 30%. So you can use things like uh, a vodka, a whiskey, or in this case, I'm actually using a little bit of brandy just to bring a slight smokiness to it as well. But because we're working with so much salt and sugar, you end up with this lovely, sweet, salty, porky goodness to go with your meals. For the, uh, the salt, we're actually using a combination of two. I've got here some light soy and some dark soy. And I'll talk about those ratios. Here I've got around about 1.5 kilos of pork belly, which has got the skin on. For that, we're gonna be using the light soy sauce. And for that, for every 300 grams of meat, we're gonna be adding a tablespoon, which is in the region of 15 to 20 milliliters, depending on the size of your tablespoon, of light soy sauce. We're then also gonna be using one, in total, one tablespoon of the dark soy sauce. And then we're gonna be using the same amount of soy sauce with the alcohol. So in this case, between 80 to 100 milliliters. Then we're using five tablespoons of the sugar okay so now the first thing we want to do and very important with our meat is we want to prick it now you can prick it either with a needle or um, i tend to just use a, a sweet horn sweet corn holder here and prick your meat all over and this will just help the um, the cure to permeate and, and get into the meat so what we'll do here we'll put these in here so here for 1.5 kilos i've got here approximately 100 milliliters of light soy sauce. To that, I'm adding around about 20 milliliters of dark soy. This actually just acts more as a coloring agent um, to make this a lot darker. So that's gonna go in as well. That's essentially our salt mixture. Then into that, I'm adding the sugar. So for this, five tablespoons, okay? That's just gonna go in there like that. So here, we'll now go with the alcohol. So for this, I'm using actually brandy, but you can use vodka, you can use whiskey, anything fairly neutral, just needs to be above 30% proof. And then all we wanna do now is just dissolve that sugar into there, which actually happens quite quickly. Okay, so while that's going like that, I'll get my dish ready. So for this, I recommend a good old dish like so, right? Nice wide, wide dish. Okay, so now we've fully dissolved all of the sugar into our liquid. Now it's a case of just taking our pork and we're just gonna lay that out into our dish. If you don't have a dish, don't worry, you can throw all this into a food bag. Um, works exactly the same way. Just make sure that, that what we're gonna be doing afterwards is massaging it through the bag, or in this case, every day, we're just gonna take the pork out and just turn it all over, okay? So in here, there we go with all our pork. Now it's just a case of taking our cure, like so, and just pouring it all over, like so. 
Okay, as you can see like this. So what I tend to do to start with is I will just turn all the pork over around in that liquor just so it gets a good covering. So now what we can do is I'm just going to cover this and it's going to go into the fridge. Now as a general rule this wants to go in for anywhere from three to five days based on the thickness of your pork. So anything that's kind of under half an inch thick I'd recommend about three days but in this case where each piece is around about an inch thick I'm going to go in for five days. Okay, and all I'm going to do is each day I will just take this out, give it a little turn and pop it back into the fridge. So I'll come back and explain the next stage. Okay, so now that's going to stay there in the fridge for about five days because that meat is one inch thick. After that, I'm going to be taking it out and it's time to hang it. So for that, you can either use some meat hooks or a sterilized coat hanger or just even some string which you can tie and pierce through the meat and go to hang up. And then you want to hang it somewhere cool, out of direct sunlight. Uh, and when I say cool, somewhere between anywhere from 11 degrees, 15 degrees is absolutely fine. And you're just going to leave it there to hang for about five days. Um, for the first day or two, there may be a little bit of dripping that comes down from any excess moisture. So my recommendation, put down a tea towel or a bit of paper to capture anything so it doesn't ruin your floor. Another option is also, if you happen to have a dehydrator, you could pop it in there at 40 degrees and it'll be done in around about eight hours. Or you could potentially put it in a very low oven, 50 degrees, with the door slightly open, leave it in there. If you're using a dehydrator, it's important to turn the meat every few hours, okay? And at the end of it, you'll end up with stuff like this, okay? So this is uh, my lap yuk. And very easy to carve, very easy to slice up, wicked in stir fries, absolutely brilliant if you just throw it into the rice cooker whilst you're cooking your rice. Um, so anyway, look, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you can check out the other ones in the channel. Don't forget to like, like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy our recipes and learning more about traditional charcuterie. You can also check us out on our website, thecraftcookhouse.com, where all our recipes are also available, uh, or you can follow us on Facebook as well, at Craft Cookhouse. Um, so until next time, see you ladies.